Well, now to the Israel-Hamas war. International negotiators are now working to free more hostages. This is ahead of an expected Israeli ground invasion into Gaza. And this comes as Israeli officials continue the country's aerial bombardment. ABC's Anas Dele Katera has the latest from Jerusalem. Israeli airstrikes targeting Hamas inside Gaza continue to intensify as Israel defense forces prepare for a possible ground invasion. The IDF says it struck hundreds of what it calls terror targets in Gaza, releasing this footage, which it claims shows its forces attacking a Hamas cell trying to infiltrate Israel. In a statement, the Israeli government says Navy boats, Air Force jets and ground soldiers struck the Hamas terrorists and stopped the planned attack. Local authorities say nearly 6,000 Palestinians have been killed in Gaza and more than 2,000 thousand of them have been children, according to the Hamas-controlled health ministry. The deaths a result of Israel's retaliation for the deadly October 7 terror attacks in Israel that left at least 1,400 killed. Many areas in Gaza reduced to rubble. People digging through collapsed buildings, searching for loved ones. More than 15,000 have reportedly been injured in the Israeli airstrikes. Hospitals overwhelmed, some already forced to close due to a lack of resources, including fuel to run generators, while others are reportedly on the brink of collapse, according to Palestinian health officials. The IDF says Hamas is sitting on fuel that could be used by hospitals. We've just run out of almost everything. Yesterday, a lot of the times, we had very little electricity. Speaking to CNN, Jordan's Queen Rania, who is of Palestinian descent, calling the world response to the war a glaring double standard. Many in the Arab world are looking at the Western world as not just tolerating this, but as aiding and abetting it. Meanwhile, more than 200 hostages taken from Israel are still being held in Gaza. Hamas has released four women so far. Orit Mayer's 21-year-old son is still being held captive, his mother sending him this message. We are doing everything, everything to bring you back. And talks to secure the release of additional hostages are ongoing, with a U.S. source familiar with the discussions being had with American and regional partners, saying the White House is privately advising Israel to delay its land operation in Gaza, but that Israel will make the ultimate decision. And as Delequitera, ABC News, Jerusalem.